150% a quintessential autumn day, is it not? Lots of leaves rustling. I believe I remember you. We did a full examination for you not too long ago. Is that correct? Yes, we took a look primarily at your neck. A lot of range of movement testing. Did some resistance. Things of that nature. If you wouldn't mind, I'm just going to review a little bit here. And today we were looking for an adjustment. Okay, let me just see what we've got here and how I can best help you out. So we had some. And then we were thinking about some Okay. All right. So I think for you, we're going to start by just checking in at what your range of movement is like right now, right at this moment. We did check that quite a bit before, but it has been. So I just want to double check. Now I'm just going to have you move to the side, have you tilt your head, and go up and down, alright? So for the purposes of this exam and this treatment, is it okay if I touch you? Wonderful, thank you. Go ahead and have you turn your head to the side here. Good. And then to neutral. How does that feel? Okay, and how about the other side? Okay, let's come back to neutral here. Okay, so any pain, tenderness, it feel like something's pulling? Okay, and now I'm going to have you go up and down, right? So if we could just go up a bit, there we go, and down a bit, good. And how about that? Any sort of pain tenderness, pulling. Okay, let's go ahead and tilt the head. So let's go right here. Okay, back to neutral. And right here. And back to neutral. Okay, and how was that? Very good. I'd like to start with some soft tissue work, I think, and we'll get to that area warmed up, perhaps a little bit more pliable as well. So I am going to be using some different stretching, maybe some compression, and it's going to feel a lot. Do let me know if there is 
any sort of pain that feels way more than it should. There probably is going to be some tender spots, but it shouldn't be anything more than you can handle, okay? into the neck here. We're going to warm this area up and with the soft tissue work. I am actually going to have you do a few things for me. big muscle that we have right here. This is your trapezius muscle, named as such because it has a trapezoid type shape. Trapezoid, trapezius. And this one can get pretty tangled up. But we also have quite a bit of other muscles in here. We have things like levator scapulae, and we can even get the hyoid muscles involved. More are infrahyoid muscles, the ones below the hyoid bone. All sorts of issues, all the way up into the head, the front of the neck, the back. So we definitely want to work not only on the source, but all those possible little connections too. Now because this is the part that is bothering you the most, And then we can get into maybe building up some strength and training the body to move in a better way so that we don't have this happen again. Usually see this kind of thing with overextension or overuse injury. do a little something for me here. So I am going to be just pressing in and stretching the muscle here. I'm going to have you put your head to the side here. Just like that. There we go. And I'm going to have you very gently lower your chin here. So get into this muscle, and then if you could just lower the chin. Good, just like that, okay? And come back up. Good, and then over. Good, and then if you could just lower the chin. Mm-hmm. And one more time. Let's go ahead and turn. Good. And lower the chin here. Okay. Very good. And let's put you back up for a moment. Good. And we'll get repositioned here. Turn your head, okay? And then if you could just bring the head down. 
good. Okay. And back up. There we go. And head to the side. And let's bring it down. Good. Is there a little bit of trouble in that motion there? Okay, you're feeling some pain with that. Okay, that's good to know. I'll note that down. And let's go ahead and do one more here. Okay, so just go ahead and turn to the side. And then let's drop the head. Okay, and bring it back. So is this the area where you felt that pain? Right in here. Okay. And does that radiate at all? Does that go any other place? Or is it just in that area? Okay. That's certainly good to note down. That's something we can also work on. So, was it when you had turned your head that it was painful, or when you were dropping the shoulder, or dropping your head, rather? Okay. Okay, that's good to know. Well, I am going to have you now Bring one of your arms up to the side. It's going to be parallel to the shoulder, so it's one long length here. And then I'm going to have you very slowly bring it out in front of you, okay? And we'll do that a few times, just bringing it out in front of you while I work on Whichever side you want to start with first. Okay? Yes, we can start with this side. So, let me go ahead and just get in here for a moment. Good. And if you could raise the arm. Yep, just at the side and bring it slowly forward. Just like that. And then if you could do that a few more times. Okay. I'll let you know when to stop. So, the second pass. Just getting a good stretch in here. And the third pass. And you can stop there. Okay. Any pain or tenderness with that? Okay. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. So let me get in right here. And I'll have you lift the arm up. Okay, that's one pass. Good. Two. And three. Four. And five. Good. 
So to finish the soft tissue work, I'd like to do a little compression here. So this is going to be where I press in and then release, press, release, press, and release. Let me know how the pressure is for you. If I can go deeper, if it's a little more tender, just let me know how it feels, okay? Right. So let's get in right in here, right in this area. And I'm just going to press. Is that all right? the soft tissue work. Now that everything's warmed up and a lot looser than it was before, I'd like to work on our adjustments. This is going to be the quintessential part where you hear all those little cracks happening. So I'm going to have you start by lying on your back so that your face up. We'll also work on you on your side as well as on your front so that your back is up as well, okay? All right, so let's get you readjusted here. Okay, so I'm just going to pop on my glasses for a moment. I want to make sure when I'm doing your adjustments that I'm accurately seeing what's going on here. And we're going to start with some neck adjustments. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to come in here. And what we're going to do is I am going to be having you tilt your head. So let's tilt your head this way. I'm going to have you drop the shoulder. Okay, I'm going to move you into place here. Okay, and if you could just take a deep breath in for me. And out. And just like that. Okay, real easy, right? Let's do that on the other side now. So I'm going to have you come this way. We'll twist you right about here. And if you could just drop the shoulder. Good. And let me just move you. There we go. And if you could take a deep breath in for me. And out. And just like that. You go ahead and just move you. All right. So how did that feel? <laughs> okay, yeah, it's a little, it's a little, I don't want to say unnerving, but unexpected, I suppose. Absolutely. Especially the first time. Now, I'd like to check a little on your legs here. So, I'm just going to move back. Let's see what we've got here, okay? So, I'm just going to take this leg and we're going to just shimmy it a bit. We'll see. Good amount of looseness in here, so that's good. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to very quickly pull your leg towards me, right? So let me get this ready. Just get some looseness in there. Your whole body is going to kind of roll a little bit with it. And then we're just going to real quick pull you. That looks good. The other side. Just going to let the leg roll a little bit. Loosen you up. And then just like that. It's a real quick little pull. Let's see what we've got going on here. I think I'm pretty pleased with that, right? So I'm gonna have you move on to your side as I come back up. Okay, so we're gonna start with you facing that side then. And I'm gonna have you bring your leg up here. Okay, just bring that up so that it's bent. Good. And if I could have you cross your arms so that each hand is on the opposite shoulder. Okay. And I'm just going to be placing one hand on the shoulder and one hand on the hip here. Okay. Just going to very quickly do a little. Good. And then if I could have you switch sides. So we'll have you turn onto the other side. Bring this leg up. Good. So that's bent. Each hand on the opposite shoulder there. Good, and I'm just going to have you real quick, so when you exhale, right, and then I'm going to just, just like that, okay, if you want to come back to how you were, just like that. So lastly, what I'd like to do with you is I'm going to have you roll over so that you're laying on the front of your body. I'll give you a moment to do that. And then we're going to work on the back just a little bit, okay? In here, I'm going to start right between the shoulder blades. So, if I could have you just take a deep breath in and out. Good, and there we go. And let's go ahead and do one more with the mid-back here. So I'm going to have you pull your chin up a little, like you're stretching the neck. Okay, so you're stretching the front of the neck. Just come up a little. Good. And then if you could take a deep breath in. And out. Good, and there, just like that. Okay, let me just feel around here. So, while I've got you on your back, 
This might change a little bit of how the muscles feel and what might be tender. I'm just going to come in here and feel around a little bit. Do let me know if there's anything tender. in a few spots. Just let me know if it's too much. Okay? If I come in here. Here. There. Good. Here. 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 No, that's all good too. Okay, so let me just work in here for a moment. And this could be considered some soft tissue work as well. But you might experience some soreness. We'll talk a little bit about that with the aftercare. But found that it can be alleviated a little bit. kneading. Get in even to the shoulder. Is any of this in particular sore to the touch? And how was your low back? Did a little bit of work here. Okay, do you usually have any issues with the low back here? No, okay. Well, sometimes neck and low back pain can go hand in hand just because of how everything's connected. And it's not usually that we have someone with only neck pain, but it's not unusual by any means. And even down here at the sacrum, how does this feel? Some people can get quite a bit of tenderness right in here. Okay, and even into the crest of the hips here. Well, either way, this sort of serves as a bit of a relaxation massage. From time to time, we'll check up on the other parts of the body because we want to make sure that we are slowly ticking away 
anything that's bothering you, anything that's not really working for you. Okay, and if we come back up here, how are we doing right here? Okay, and this is all good. All right, well, be thinking a little bit about if you notice any difference, because I'll be asking you in a few moments. And I am going to have you just sit back up. We will go over the range of movement a little bit more. And we'll talk about aftercare and what else we want to do with your body to help it heal and so that we can encourage some healthier sort of movements, right? Okay. Okay, so how are those adjustments feeling? All right, so I just want to check the range of movement a little bit again, see if we have any problems. So I'm just going to come in here. And we're going to have you go to one side. Good. Back to neutral. And the other side. Good, and how does that feel? Okay, and let's go ahead and go up. Good, and down. Okay, and how does that feel? All right, lastly, let's do a little bit of tilting. This way. Good. And the other. And back. Good. So, how did all of that feel for you? Okay, do you notice any sort of difference? Yeah, it's okay if you don't notice anything at first. We still have quite a bit of work to do. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about aftercare. So it's always a good idea to get a lot of water. Water is our lubricant. Water is vital for our organs to function correctly for our blood to circulate, for our lymph to pick up any blood that didn't make it back to the heart and detoxify the body. So I want you to make sure you're getting plenty of water and plenty of good rest. Your deep sleep is incredibly important for this because that is where a lot of your physical restoration can come from. So, taking it easy for the next few days, and you may experience some soreness, and if there's any new pain that crops up, that could tell us a little bit about what else might be going on. So, you're more than welcome to give us a call and let us know, and then we can hone in on that as well, okay? But your muscles were in a sort of holding pattern for a long time. And when that happens, even if it's a good thing that you're a little more flexible and working a little better, it still can be a little bit of an adjustment for the body. So as for next time, I'm thinking that in addition to continuing our adjustments, Maybe down the line, we want to think about physical therapy. I know we had talked about that. And you might also think about dry needling, which looks extremely similar to acupuncture. 
We can use heat and stimulation to help break up the tension in those areas and release trigger points in the muscles. But I'm more concerned with making sure we are building back your body's movements in a way that won't cause another problem like this. Okay? So we can work on strength. Definitely want to get a good sort of overview about the global muscle function since we talked about earlier. Even though you might have a problem in your neck, we can get that from the trapezius, maybe we get it from one of our muscles in here, maybe we get it from our back, our head, so we will think about that one, okay? Do you have any questions for me at all? Excellent. So I truly hope that this first adjustment helps you even just a little bit. And we will certainly continue to work with you so that you can keep healing and feeling much less pain, right? I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night. Thank you. Bye now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I create primarily medical alternative medicine slash pseudoscience and personal attention.